Good morning. Quarter after seven. You can actually wake up, smell some of the flowers today because we do have them live in studio. You may not have them outside, but we got them right here. Ram Teoden from Lacoste Garden Center joining us with some great things to start thinking about the season, start getting geared up because, you know, people are chomping at the bit to get going. Oh, yeah. So first of all, tools, big, huge part of gardening. There is a, it's a big thing there. There's a main tools that are used in the garden. You want to get these things prepped by sharpening the edges there just to make sure you're getting it. Uh, uh, so when you're doing any of your divisions, once you're able to actually dig into the ground or into the soil, uh, a basic file if you have at home is all that's needed and it's just pretty much just touching at the bottom edge or the top edge. Uh, same idea when you're using your, your pruners like this, this is probably one of the favorite tools that all gardeners have. If there's a lot of sap and rust and things like that, a steel brush like this, a little guy, just to clean off the blade. And at the same time, same idea with the, uh, a, a finer file actually, that you would be filing it so this way you get any burrs. But if you really need to sharpen, a good sharpening stone is what's actually needed. Um, with your shovels, again, these are the two main uh, tools that gardeners would use, is a, um, a cultivating fork and the spade. This is just ideally for digging holes and also for digging up large uh, plants for division. And these things don't really come with a sharp edge. They don't need something for cutting like pretty much paper, to, um, sorry, to make it really sharp, but you want to make sure at least it's sharp enough to dig through our clay and our gumbo. And then in here for your vegetable gardens and everything, when you till up your soil, as long as it's like has a point but not a sharp point, that's okay. all that's really needed there. Awesome. Now when it comes to supplies, good time to start stocking up. Supplies really, when you're out for out shopping at, uh, at Lacoste there, you want to be able to pick up some of your fertilizers because these guys here, the different ones, the solubles, the granular, they go pretty quick because a lot of people like to use them so this way their plants are nice and huge, sort of like this petunia here on the left. But uh, other than that, the granular, it's, it's really nice because you, you, you put it down and it feeds itself. So some of them can go up to six months. The solubles are pretty much that uh, extra food you give them every week or two. Uh, another thing is maybe the gloves. If you, uh, your gloves are getting all worn and torn and everything, you want to get some new types. There's some thinner ones, uh, ones that will allow more grip, and then ones if you're like handling things that are very spiky and thorny, uh, more heavy duty type gloves. Awesome, and if you just can't wait to get started, you can actually bring some of the seeding indoors with a kit like this. That's right, this kit here is it's like a mini greenhouse for yourself, so if you are one of the ones that like to start things from seed, you pick up one of these, uh, set your seed down and watch it grow, and then when you're ready to, uh, to uh, plant it in your garden, just plop it right into the soil. Very cool, and now is the time where you want to start thinking about where you want to position things. That's right. Um, when you have your flower beds, you may not be able to see them right now, but what you want to do is at least map it out on a piece of paper okay. and what you'll do is you'll have to select a type of um, sun plants, shade plants, your different heights from, from creepers like this, uh, low growing, to medium type plants, um, things like these ones here but this one's for a shade uh, and then you'll have really tall varieties like this and then in the background some of the taller ones there too uh, to give you your, your containers some height and some girth to them. Uh, other than that, is as long as you have a good mix, your colors from your reds to your oranges, those are really bold colors, that's all you would need for your containers. Well, it certainly does not feel like spring, but there is no need to hold off. You can start getting into the spirit by prepping for the season. And head down, talk to some of the experts at uh, Lacoste Garden Centre. They're located on St. Mary's. You can help people plan out their garden, get yep. started, get geared up, because one day we will be able to have flowers outside. Definitely, for sure. Positive thinking. Yes. We're taking a quick Always. break here on BT. Stay with us. This program is brought to you in part by Kisei. Furniture, inspiration, design. Kisei, creating possibilities.